Welcome to Good Mythical More. It's a serial more. But I, I, I'm a little, I don't know how to feel about this because we're gonna draw attention to the like, which ones have the most sugar. Well, and bring in the, well, how we're gonna do this because we're actually gonna, we're not looking at any information on the box. We're gonna take the boxes out. We're gonna well, try to literally out. match the sugar that we can see. The sugar. To the sugar that we can taste. But first, freeze frame. What did they do? What did they do this time? What did they do to us? So I'm really relying on you here, Link. You're the cereal guy. Um, we're going to eat with our hands. Cereal yeah. guy. Which ones are these? These uh, corn pops. Corn pops. Well, first of all, this is this is your cereal right here. You, this is what you like, Raisin Bran Crunch. Raisin Bran Crunch was um was one of my go tos for a long while. But then it was uh, dethroned by Raisin Nut Bran. Raisin Bran Crunch has a high sugar content because of the raisins. Primarily. No, because of the crunch. But that, that crunch is a The raisins is a have, a, have a lot of sugar yeah. in them. But the difference between Raisin Bran and Raisin Bran Crunch is, I think, substantial. Because I remember we, I was talking about it and you were like, how much sugar's in that? And then you told me. And then I stopped eating it. That's when I made Good. the switch. This has more sugar than pops. You wouldn't know it, though. Yeah, you would. Pretty sweet. And then you got Reese Puffs. This is sickeningly sweet. Reese Puffs got, ain't nothing sickening about it, though. They're nice. It's hard without milk, though. It's hard with just milk and no spoon, no milk and no spoon. That powder. Just two guys in their hands. There's a magical powder that they put on it. A peanut powder. But frosted flakes? Hold on, but I've got to feel I'm some sort of. It ain't nothing but f sugar and flakes, man. All that, it, 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 you can see the sugar just, just all over it. But there's no other place for the sugar to hide. It's so crunchy. From a glaze. CV, is that you sneezing? Bless you. Yeah, excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> this is the best tasting cereal that I've, had, that I've had so far. Some of that Reese's Puff powder. Really? It's interesting because we both were really big Frosted Flakes guys growing up, and then you became a cereal guy, and you don't even like Frosted Flakes anymore. No, I like it. It's just, it's pretty one-dimensional. Can I it's, say... It's just sugar. I have the results back here. I have the answers. Oh, you do? And I am... You know, there's some shocking reveals on on here. So I think you should be really, you know, try Careful. and wipe the marketing away from your minds and just focus on the taste of the cereals. We are. We're trying. We're trying to wipe it away. But we're American. It's hard. I'm not susceptible We've been to marketing. in the marketing. The Pops honey is lower for sure. Honey Nut Cheerios. You can see a glaze of shine. They're just coated in, in uh, sugar, I think. Do you remember the day that your mom upgraded you from regular Cheerios to Honey Nut Cheerios? No, because like I was two? like two. That's one of the only memories I have <laughs> from before three. I'll tell you, they're so much better. Man, they're, more, they're more honeyed and they're more nutty than regular Cheerios. Sometimes I just see a little baby eating regular Cheerios and I'm like, you stupid your little life, Your life bee. sucks right now. Yeah. You just wait until that day. You need to grow up. That you're never gonna forget. You need to, you need to demonstrate some maturity. They don't do that th these days though. They don't just give their kids the sugariest thing, the parents these days, the way that our parents did. Yeah, they're so woke. <laughs> Isn't that what woke means? It means you read the, it reads the ing ingredients. Yeah. What do we have here, Captain Crunch? Captain Crunch, I thought it had a lot of sugar, but I'm tasting it. All I've done is move pops, just so you know. That's my only contribution thus far. They're shiny though. What? What is it, a rice? A puff? It's a corn, it's a corn pop, it's in the name. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is it, a rice? 
it really, I've never actually thought about it like that. Like corn? A corn pop is a corn. It's just like corn. Pop. It's like taking the word popcorn and inverting the two halves of it. What? What? Corn pop is popcorn scrambled? Captain Crunch is deceptive. Is it only my mind that's being blown? I've always known there was corn in them. Man, I feel like when I figured out that fig was a fruit and a fig Newton. Was that a good day? No, it's a horrible day. Did you have pops in your house? We talked about it on the Mythical Society. We did a little extra round. Go over there to the Mythical Society, you can see that. Some else you can see on the Mythical Society. We brought Jen out of her hole. I don't know where she's been hiding, but we she came back and she brought mail with her. And it was like so nostalgic. It was so much fun. So much so that it's only on the Mythical Society. But uh, you can be third degree, you can be second degree, you can be first degree. Go over there and watch it on the Mythical Society. I know you miss some gin just like we do. Hmm. You think that the Raisin Bran Crunch is the sugariest and because of what you did to me that fine day, I agree, but if I taste it next to the Frosted, I don't know, I think that the Frosted Flakes has more sugar than the Daireshi. There's other things going on in this that make it super, super sweet. I don't know about this. I don't know about this move, but I really want to move it down. And then if I'm, I'm going to going... trust you, these are these are all some great cereals. Did you have pops in your house? Was it one of your options? No, never. But when you got that variety, the like variety pack of like little oh, boxes, pops. yeah, yeah, they were always in there. I think my brother was a pops guy. You sure you wasn't a Smacks guy? No Smacks in my house. Only uh, Pops. Honey Smacks? We didn't do that, no. Nothing with... That one That one had the frog. We didn't do anything with it. reptiles on it and amphibians. They're not appetizing. Oh, look, a slimy frog. Makes them want to smack some frog cereal a, back. Frog is a real bad food mascot. Yep. Other good mascots, the sun is a good one. Yep. It's the life sun is a great mascot. Maybe the best. The source of all life. The mascot on Pops, nothing. Corn is the is the mascot. The mascot popcorn on Reese's. Pops. You don't need anything because you're making a cereal that tastes like Reese's. You know what I'm saying? Who would have thought? Tony the Tiger. You of course know that. Be great for Honey Nut. And then the captain. He's not a great mascot. I'm sorry. Not a great mascot. Why? Why not? I don't, I don't need a captain to direct me on what to enjoy. I don't need a, an authority figure to be my mascot. I don't need someone in charge. I need a bee, you know? Just a bee or the sun. The sun isn't trying to tell me what to do, it's just giving me life. You know, fun fact, Captain Crunch died. No, he lost an arm and he became Captain Hook. It's the same guy. This is like the prequel to Captain Hook. I don't believe that, Link. Yeah, a kid, like a famished kid bit his, bit his hand off. Because he got too close to the cereal. Yeah, it got too close to the cereal. He was trying to exert his authority. Kid came out, chomped that thing right off. Bleeding like crazy. Like a stuck pig, yeah. Captain Crunch. That's why, you, that's why Captain Hook is so mean and hates Peter Pan. Right. Because he hates kids, because they bit his hand off. Right. That's where that came from. You remember right. Captain Crunch's um, catchphrase? Open wide, kid. He regrets that. <laughs> yeah. And he tried to feed it. Tried to feed. No. Kid. Cap crunchitize me, Captain. No? What do you know what it is? No. I, was, I mean you're the cereal guy. Oh. Okay, we lost or, origin story of uh Tony the Tiger. Um two tigers had sex. 
Yeah. Origin story of, um, what's the bee's name? What's the bee's name? Chester? <laughs> That's the cheetah. I think his name is just bee. Bee? Buzz. Really? Yeah, buzz. Yeah. Buzz. I watched a TikTok recently of um, uh, some bees fighting a hummingbird. Oh, and that it, was cool. Who won? Yeah. Well, it started to rain. And they all lost. The rain. No. Uh, the bees, they can't They can't really work with uh, rain. Uh -huh. uh, but the hummingbird could, could, could deal with the rain. The hummingbird was fighting them for what? The nectar. The sugar. The sugar. But he wasn't going into the hive. He was just getting sugar. He was getting nectar out yeah, of it. Yeah, they were both trying to pollinate the same things. And it was all filmed in slow motion. I don't think they know they're and pollinating. I don't know how. They don't know they're pollinating. They filmed. Yeah, they just think they're eating. You just gave agency to these things. I mean, they have agency, but they don't know that they're pollinating. Okay. Sorry. I'm just saying, when, I, when I'm pollinating, I know it. Typically. Unless it's. At night, <laughs> I'm asleep. It, the slow motion which is just amazing. I mean, the rain droplets, is, and then they put like um, sound effects, like his bombs dropping. It was cool. Yeah. I'd like to see your For You page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. And have you seen all the, I don't know what nature show this is, but somebody's been putting cameras in like. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, I don't know if this is some. It's another British show or something. But like, there's um, there's cameras in a pile of um, rhino dookie. Uh huh. Just rhino dung. It's a mobile camera, though. and it will it roll. Rolls. It's like a rolling. Yep, it's a dookie dookie cam. ball. It's a dookie cam, and it'll roll right up to a f elephant. Mm -hmm. Film it. And there's nothing they can do about it. They just, they're unsuspecting. They're just like, why is this dookie ball rolling? It never has before. Right. Now they don't forget it, but they don't understand it. Right. Uh, we are locked in. I totally am now in agreement. Would that? you like to associate those beakers full of oh, yeah. sugar? Heck yes. Did you just burp? I did. What did it taste like? Sugar. Oh, it didn't taste like peanut butter? That's a good test. Okay, 12. These, okay, so these two are tied. So that one that doesn't have much sugar has got hardly any sugar. Pops, huh? All right, so we're gonna start with Pops, Stevie. Are we correct that Pops has nine grams of sugar? I don't even know. Mm. <laughs> no, this is a mess, I'm sorry to say. Because we're a, we've done a mess. You've done. A, you've, you've made a little. We, do we make a, a stinky? stinky. <laughs> do we make a stinky? Made a little stinky here. I'm. A, you want me to start with the least sugary? Yeah. Reveal. This is gonna blow your mind. Reese's puffs. I told you were trying to put it over there. I told you that it shouldn't go over there. Man, how much sugar does it have? Just a nine. Just the nine per what? serving. Which you know, cereal servings is like. That's brilliant. You know, but. That is brilliant. Yeah, so that that would go at the far end where you have. That's crazy. Have your pops. Crap. I told you your mind was gonna be blown. Already. And then next. Is 12 and there's two that are tied. Yeah. And the two that are tied are Frosted Flakes. What? Told you. I'm trying to push it down. Honey Nut Cheerios. Uh, okay. Dang. Then. So what is all the white stuff that's frosting a flake? Sugar. Sugar. Don't tell me. Uh, then we have Raisin Bran Crunch. Hold on, you're oh about my. to tell me that Pops has got more sugar than anything? You, you sucked it I'm up. You did your stinky. I did a big, big stinky. What? Raisin Bran Crunch has 15 grams? Uh, is it 15 or 19? Captain oh, Crunch has so got to have the most. That's not the right, that's not the right ranking then. Hold on. Well, Where's, they're they're doing some sort of, um, you know, they're doing across might, the it, board it, leveling. It might, yeah, it might be per the same amount. It's corrected for the amount. Yes. For a cup of it or something. 
Although not, not you by have their own the servings. sugar, the grams of sugar that you have in those things are f- per serving. And then I guess the ranking is per 100 grams. Ugh. Okay. Well, so far it's it's been both. But now Raisin Bran Crunch is 19 grams of sugar per serving. Right. But 34.6 per 100 grams. So it ranks at three. And then you have what? Corn Pops. Next, which is 15 grams per serving. You screwed the pooch on the corn pops, well, I man. I screwed it. Hard. It's the second highest. And then the highest is Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. I knew that at some point. Forgot about it. What y'all be doing over there at Pops? It's got nothing in it. No fiber. I mean, this is horrible for you. I mean, these are just corn pops, too, but they're coated in enough something that's not sugar. We were, a, we were a Pops family. My mom thought she was making a good decision. She was making a bad decision. Sorry, Mom. It says it on the sign. It says... This is a bad decision? Your mom is making a bad decision when I, she makes you. I think she was thinking, like, this is, like, not that fun. There's no mascot. It doesn't say anything about there being sugar. It's just, how, how bad could corn be? They're just Pops. Think about where I'd be if I hadn't eaten these. What, uh, where would you be if you hadn't eaten these? I don't know. I'd probably be in the Senate. The Senate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the state Senate. <laughs> yeah. Are you complaining? Uh, aren't, you, aren't you grateful? Oh, yeah, I love my job. I got a great job. Eat corn pops. Do this for a living. Watch Mail with Jen on the Mythical Society, available to first, second, and third degree.